No, no, it's okay, it's okay. Carry on, please. Okay, download Python. So, what is the ID tools here? What is the PyCharm? I think everyone has installed PyCharm, right? What is the PyCharm? PyCharm is a IDE tools. I mean, integrated development environment. We can write Python code in any IDE tool for the Python PyCharm. Okay. Or else we can also run in the Anaconda navigation. Or else we can go with like Jupyter also, right? Or else VS Code. For the Java Eclipse, for C Sharp, .NET, Microsoft Visual Studio. Clear, right, everyone? VS Code is a common IDE tool for all the languages. Yes. So you click on this, download Python. Which one, sir? Yeah, Python for Windows. Yeah, Python for Windows. That's it. That's it. It's not like that. Yeah. Okay. First link, sir. Yes, exactly. The first link. First link. Yeah, here you can okay. download Python depending upon your operating systems. Yeah. Oh, how quick? No, 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 don't go with like AMD 64. Okay. Okay, click on the download, click on the download button there. Or oh, by default, it's just taking that. Yeah, click on Windows, yeah. Okay. There are two types of operating system, right? So one is like AMD 64 and again, 8632. Okay, you can yes, download sir. the left side, install it. This one? Uh, we don't want like a 3.13, we can go. With like 3.12 or D, download 64 bit. You can download 64 bit there. This one, sir? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Now, sir? Install now yes. or customize installation? Yes. Install now, one second, one second. Before that, you should use admin. You should select those both. Use admin and you can add Python, both that. Because it will be setting the environment variable path. Install now, install now. Okay, sir. So the first thing I don't want to take, say, so is it fine for everyone, right? We can go with like Python first tool or Excel. I want like many of them like a yes, note or no. How many of them are good at like, uh, can we start Python? Because, you know, if you initially, if you start with Python, it is very easy to understand. Then Excel, Excel we can learn like within one week or two weeks. And again, Power BI, obviously one week is enough. And again, after that, SQL. How many of them are okay with Python initially? Because I'll start for all the batches, Python only first. Is it good for everyone, Python? Alia, Hakash, Kishore, Naga, Neha, Prashant, Sveta, Samir, Rajiv, everyone? I'm good. Because you Hello, know, okay. yeah, yeah. If you guys start with the Python, right? The day by day, you can understand like what exactly, yeah. Okay. Yes, statistics also, and again with our language. What is the statistics? Like generally we should know what is mean, what is mode, what is median, what is variance, what is standard deviation, how to do the calculations, how to implement with the statistical problematical with R language, and again how to draw with the graph with R language. And again, this is what like, I used to do show. Clear, right? Prashant, is it okay for you? 
Okay. Uh, why you need your screen has been stopped here? Nick? So can you please share what you will teach us? Actually, I am joined a little bit late. Akash Singh. Yes, Akash. So I used to share my knowledge for the data analyst here. One thing, Python, and again, the whole syllabus. Yes, exactly. So I think the Python, and again, the SQL, and again, the Excel from the basic to advanced, and again, Power BI, and again, cloud data analytics with a data engineer. And again, last but least, if I get a time, two days W, and again, two, two, three days R language. This is what the complete tools I'm going to cover. Is it clear, Akash? Akash, is it okay for you? Python, MySQL, Excel, Power BI, Cloud Data Analytics, W, and again, R, yes. Now it's okay. Okay. All right. Where is the Vinit? Where is the Vinit? Vinit is escaped. But I shared a script for you. So please enroll everyone. So they'll be sending the paid link. Class duration is like every day, one hour, 45 days to 60 days. Maximum I'm taking the 60 days, two months. And again, including every two weeks once, Saturday or Sunday, two to three hours of classes or two hours of classes, whatever we did, everything will be, uh, what is that like test? It is a completely like unit testing. What exactly, what we covered and again, what we did, I'll give the come some questions like online, everyone need to answer it. That's why like every two weeks once. After completion of one tool, I'll be asking the some interview questions, live interview questions, mock interviews, and again the CV preparations. That is what like end of our end-to-end -end syllabus. Is it okay, everyone? Okay, okay, everyone. Okay, yes. So I think, you know, the team, is it sufficient for 60 days for all the things about discussed from the scratch? Yes, so, you know, uh, we don't want like more advanced of Python. We don't want like more advanced of our language. Power BI, we should invest the time for Power BI and in Excel and in the Python, the libraries like NumPy, Pandas, right? And in the cloud data analytics. That's what, apart from that, nothing. Is it possible? It is possible. Right, so because you know, for freshers, I cannot able to teach more advanced. For intermediate guys, I can teach more advanced. And again, if you expect, like, if you have a like, good knowledge on this basic data analyst, then again, I can go with like intermediate to advanced level. So, even though if we teach with advanced level for the freshers, they'll be getting confusions. So, that's why, like, how first we grab the syllabus and again, the indexes, what we are doing here, that much is very useful to us, basically. With my syllabus and again, with my mock interviews, with my CV, everyone will get a job according to my set because you know, I have taken the multiple batches and again, out of like, you know, each batches will be more than, so 20 students as like 10 more students like that. And again, everyone will get like, I think like from past low, last two batches, I think only two, two of them are not getting. So out of like 10 or 15 papers like that, everyone have got. So only two or three, still they're struggling because of their background educations. That's it, because of their documentations. Except that everything is clear. Okay, right? So end of the day, everyone should need to clear the interviews. Clear, clear, clear. Okay, now we'll do one thing. We'll start with the... Uh... Okay. I think Vinit is not joining. Any con confusions still now?
in python pandas metasploitly what is this akash have you covered all of this in python yes 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 it's done Yeah, yeah. So, Alia, can you share your screen? I'll make you now host for you. Sure, sir. Please share your screen. Yeah, done. Yeah, so open your desktop screen. So minimize the screen. I'll show the first day for everyone how to create a photo structure, all these things. Uh, create a folder here. Create a folder. I mean, which, uh, okay. You don't have like VS Code right here, Alia. Hello. Alia, you are in mute. Uh, what's that again, sir? VS Code. VS Code. Okay, download VS Code. Rather than PyCharm, download VS Code. Okay. Sir, even I should install VS Code instead of yes, PyCharm. Everyone should need to install VS Code. Yeah. Okay. Will it be the first one? Ah, uh, exactly. Yeah, first one. Okay. Should I use this? Button? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Download. Let's just click next, 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 next. Create a desktop icon there. Additional icons. Okay. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Open thought nothing. Back, back, back. Once again, once again. Back, back, back. Oops, sorry. I think this is a pie charm. This will be as good. Okay. Back, back. Once again, yep. back. Okay, you can select like other. Add open with code. Add with code, two things. Two things, yeah. Click next. Click install, yeah. Install. Yes, so I think everyone has installed this by VS Code, right? I think today is the last day for the demo. I think, uh, again, demo, why demo? So is PyCharm better or Visual Code good, sir? For VS Code is better. Code. VS, Code. VS Code is better. We'll do one thing. Go to the extensions there. Extensions. Down, down. Mm. Extension. Where is it? In the left side, one, two, three, four, five, five, fifth option on the top, left side. Fifth option. Is this extensions. Click on extensions. Okay. See, in many companies, we use VS Code only in real time scenario also. Because this is a VS code is better for our language, Python, any languages. You can install Python language here. This one? Python, Python, yeah. 
you can search python again python yeah python support for windows okay no it is installing let's say it's installing yeah there is a api plugin which is installing here fine okay close this now close this close this vs code completely close this vs code completely close this vs code okay yeah. so i want everyone should be experienced way you should open the ide tools so minimize the center window even though this also google chrome uh, click on one folder here right click any one of the folder yeah so you can type python yes open this folder and again in the search option in the search top python yeah click on that no no left side left side left side left navigation there only yeah Yeah. Yeah. Yes. There. There. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Click on that. Click on that. Now, after Python, you can click on that. Yeah. Yeah. CMD. CMD. Enter. Everyone, please follow this method. See, in a company, you should open like this. This ID tool. Okay. Code. C O D E. Code. Space dot. enter 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 see it will open the vs code with the python folder section yes i trust the authors yes and you can click on this welcome close this welcome port yeah in the left side python folder is right in the left side python folder click on there plus new file you can create a new file you can write simple dot py all the python files will be stored in the dot py simple dot py py enter yes now you can write code right side print hello world print open bracket in the double quote hello world and again one more line enter second line Alia equals to equals to in the double quote string in the double quote string enter print without double quote Alia save it out this file control S yes. yes. now go to the top run three dots three dots open the three dots now open the three dots terminal terminal new terminal yes now you can select see there is a right side extreme right on the top play button yes you can play the output will be displayed here clear right first line the output is hello world second line output is alia the string is output right alia is a variable string is a characters is it everyone is okay for this what i did now initially i created a folder how to open the shortcuts with the folder format and again ran the simple hello world and again created the extension with the .py file is it clear everyone yes Sir, uh, command can you please again? Yes. Now Valia will do what she will do now. Again, she will close entirely this one, and again she will be creating one more folder, and again she will do within one second, within thirty seconds she will do one more time. She will be creating one more folder, and again she will be doing this one. No, no, no. You close this folder. You close this folder completely from the beginning. Yes. You create a folder. One more new folder.
Akash, you'll be not speaking up. You'll be communicating only with the chat. Should I need to pay anything for you to have a communication with me now, with voice, rather than chatting? Or else like your mic is not working, or else like any issues with your end? Yes, Akash, see, you are a fresher. You are not having too much knowledge regarding this. Am I good to go? Yes, definitely no one will have any knowledge with any technologies. Once they're practicing, once they're learning, after learning everything, they can practice it. Yes, you can go with this one. Yeah. But end of the day, your goal should be, you should proudly feel that you should become a cloud data engineer or cloud data analytics or as data analytics engineer or data engineer. Okay. Is it clear, Akash? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think this part everyone cleared it. So control save. Save, save, save and exit. See in the left side there is a one item is showing, right? So if it is showing that item means it will not work. You should save and again run. You should save this file. Okay, okay. Dot py one. It won't run. You should give the dot py only. There is no any new extensions. Alia, yeah. You should rename that file name. Right click, rename. Simple dot py. Enter. Yeah, now it will work. Come to come to the down. Come to the down in the terminal, click on that, control C, control C. Super, now you can run the code. Clear, right? Everyone up to here, any confusions? Still now? How to create a folder? how to make a shortcut to run, how to add extensions, all these things. Is it clear? Yes, please communicate. Yes. Communicate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. One thing I want to ask, like this I want to guide, or else I want to share my screen, and again I want to keep on running the code. Which one is the better? Sometimes this is the best way we can learn. Yeah. Uh, whereas in the theory classes, I guess it's better you share the screen. Yeah, basically, you know, which is a very easy coding. I'll make you guys to share screen and again, you can you can run the code, okay? For the rest of like high level concepts and all, I'll do that, okay? Okay. Okay, sir. And again, I think everyone are enrolled, right? I think uh, this team, I don't know. I think I'll ask you one. Alia, are you enrolled? Alia. Kishore? Okay, see. I think now, right now, I don't know, like how many of them are joining here. I don't know. But who are going to join or who are not going to join, everyone should need to know minimum 20 data analysis. So here, suppose, take an example. If we are having a 15 of them or 16 of them, so I'll be counting the heads now only here. So suppose Alia, Akash, and again Kishore, Marin, Marin, sorry, so my system got corrupt. Okay, it's okay. And again, okay, take an example now, okay. I'll be assigning that two, two members here, one, one team. So suppose, take an example. What are the types of data analysis we have? I think we you guys have seen, right? The last two days back. What are the types of data analysis? I'll be giving the shortlet, shortcuts. PP, QQ, DD, EDA, TS, right? Many of them still. What is it? What is that PP means? Predictive and again, predictive data analysis, prescriptive data analysis, quanti qualitative data analysis, quantitative data analysis, and again, exploratory data analysis, casual data analysis, and also like inferential data analysis, and also like mechanistic data analysis, time series data analysis, text and video data analysis, and again, 
descriptive data analysis and again diagnostic data analysis and again predictive and again prescriptive so this is the 20 types of data analysis what i will do right so for two, two, two of them for two of them like example alia and again shweta they will be concentrating on predictive and again prescriptive data analysis if anything is getting down when we can use this predictive analysis and again when we can use the prescriptive analysis suppose like one more guy neha patel and again prashant i'll be assigning like descriptive data analysis and again diagnostic data analysis in which scenario we can use and again in which scenario we should not use and again kishore and again akash i'll be assigning them for data mining what is the data mining and again what is the data profiling and again in which scenario we need to use and again like example pavan and again samir and again shwet sorry rajiv so for three of them i'll be implementing with a data wrangling so why data wrangling so what is the importance here and again how to overcome all this scenario end of the day after 60 days or 45 days of our, of our classes completions we should be so strong clear right is it fine to distribute like this yes sir okay i think fine, no. sir. yeah all right so uh here the python so i think everyone are python yes only in newcomers i fail but few of them like you guys know that basic python but still here i'm going to start from the basic scratch to some kind of intermediate level as like advanced level also but here what we are going to see first thing data structures types of data structures and again operators then again functions then again loops and again error handling and again the classes and again the functions so these are the things and again how to import a libraries all these things clear right so example what are the data structures what are the types of data types we have any idea? I think who is that guy? Right? Pawan has been did. Pawan did full stack and also he learned Python also, right? Only for the Pawan now. Pawan, what are the types of data types we have? For Python, we have fundamental, sequential, and uh, list, and this kind of data types you have. In, uh, for class and these data types, we know that basic data types for integer and string boolean and uh, uh one more thing okay. okay yeah generally uh, your answer is correct your answer is like not valid for the least answer that is okay but your answer okay. is correct but you should say like this any programming languages there are two types of data types first one is primitive data types primitive and second one is primitive data types yeah in this way you have to explain it so i prefer like that okay Anyway, yeah. still it is a learning point because you know the in the IT field, whenever you are answering in the interview, right? You should tell in the three levels: high level, mid level, low level. Clear, yeah, right? Example: primitive data types. That is high level. Mid level is numeric. In the numeric, we can take what is a integer, float, complex. Correct, right? Yes. Sir. Primitive data types is a high level. Mid level is numeric. And again, the low level is least. So reverse that like integer and again float and again the complex. Like this, you have to say, okay? Yeah. yeah. So here, everyone need to understand that like, what is the data structures? These are called as the data structures. Generally, everyone knows that like integer, what is that? Integers, characters, bytes, and that's like floats, and again complex, and again tuples, list, arrays, hash tables, and again string, right? Everyone knows this basic things. But here, we should not say like this. We should say in the three formats, high-level format, mid-level format, low-level format. Like take an example. Suppose in our language, as a data analysis language, so we should tell, yes, I used to analyze the data with the descriptive. What is exactly descriptive there? And again, what is the things? Yeah, you can tape it out, yeah. No, no, don't open that one. Uh, primitive and again, non-primitive. Data structures, primitive and again non primitive data structures in the Python. Yes, see like this, okay? Python data structure, that is a primitive is a high level in the mid level numeric, right? In the numeric, integer will come, right? And again, next in the sequence format, it will come any kind of float or sorry, string. And again, the true value Boolean, like this, okay? Anyway, we'll, we'll be explaining that tomorrow's class end to end with the diagrammatical. So, no worries. 
I am having like one more class at 8 30. Is there any questions now? Is it good to go for tomorrow? For what is it? Is it good to go for like tomorrow with the live classes or still we need to wait? How about Tagash and Marine? I think like you know, uh, this management team has been sent like a uh, they, few of them are enrolled, but few of them are not enrolled. So that's why like, I got to confused here. So can we get the recordings of the demo class also? Yesterday I didn't attend the class. Yeah, I think, okay. They will send the link actually, don't worry. So please ask them that the management team, they'll be giving us this. Okay. Meanwhile, well, nothing. So with the data dates, we are discussing like completely. Is it my screen is visible, right? Yeah, anyway. So any questions now? Sir, Sir I have a question that uh, hello. Hello. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 please. Yes, Hello. Please. Yeah, yeah, Pawan, Pawan, please, please go ahead. Sir, uh, actually, I have four years of work, so am I able to learn this uh, data and this course to get your job as a pressure in the market? Right? I would make you to see. Uh, please correct me with the separately so that like I can explain you that. So, how exactly you need to get the job and even with the experience letters or without experience letters, how can we crack this okay. one with a good package, okay? Okay. Sir, so I mean, uh, is, uh, yeah, not a complete syllabus like uh, uh, while dealing with the Python up to which concepts you can explain about that, like? Yeah, so even though like for these guys, Python whoops concept is not required, okay, okay. right? Because, yeah. you know, if we teach Python whoops class also, because they don't require, they don't want this one. Just they want like how to create a models, how to call the models, how to import a libraries. That's more than enough for them. Okay. Okay. And one more thing was so how is the current market for the data analyst like uh, data analyst market? Sorry. So what's the current job market for the data analyst? Like uh, do we See, have openings for the pressure? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry for that. Like even though current marketing is. Cyber security, DevOps, DevSecOps, ML Apps, and one of the leading. So one second, I will show that. Uh, who is that? Like Alia, can you make me host? You are having a complete permission. Please click on my my name, and again right click three dots, make me host. Alia. They made me host. Sir, you are host. Yeah. Okay. See, there is a like lot of, lot of job markets. No worries. See.
So you got it right, everyone. DevOps, DataOps, MLOps. Clear, right? Now, I think what everyone now we are here. Right? Yeah. See, the trend in the market is DevOps is a more trading, but now data apps is acquired more than DevOps jobs. All right, wait, this page is loading. One second. Is it clear, everyone? See, ML apps, data apps, DevOps, and again, see apps. So more than this, more than DevOps, more than ML apps, data apps is very important because you know the data is coming from the multiple sources, right? And again, how to integrate the data, and again, how to push the data into the Power BI dashboards or any kind of visualization boards like uh, Prometheus, Grafana, or Tableau. We can use like any kind of tools to visualize the data. So for this, we required a data apps, data automation engineer, especially with the Python. And again, this data will be available in the cloud also. From the cloud, we should make it out this automation level. Clear, everyone? Yes, yes, yes. Akash, Alia, Kishore, Marina, Pavan, yes, Rajiv. Please, I have a question. Is it a data cloud? Data cloud? Yes, yes, we are, I'm taking here data. two kinds of universe. One kind is traditional data operations. Yes. And another one is like how to integrate. Because you know, when you upload your CV in the Naukri account or LinkedIn, right? They will ask, yes. do you have any experience in the cloud data analytics, especially Azure Cloud or Google Cloud or AWS Cloud? Clear? Yes. Yeah. OK. Thank you. So sir, uh, what is the role of uh, cloud in data analytics? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Your Akash, your voice is too low. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. I'm just asking, uh, what's the role of uh, cloud or uh, yeah, cloud and data analytics? Yes, the same thing. Whatever the tools we are learning here traditionally, right? Power BI, Excel, right? The same thing. They will store the data into the any kind kind of like cloud storages, right? In the cloud storages, we should import the data and again we should dump it into the Power BI dashboards with the API integrations. Okay. 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 Uh, data ops in AWS Cloud. Click on this. This is what these are the services you should learn. Take it out example. At least like these are the services we should be able to understand, like which is data relevant. Clear it? Data analytics, EMR, Amazon, Athena, AWS, Blue, Kinesis. This is a part. Data store, analytics part. See, the first one is data injection. Second one is data store part. And again, API method implementations, analytics, and again, AI, ML method. And you can also like any kind of data extracting from anywhere. Okay. Okay. So I need to jump to other class now. Is it fine, everyone? Yeah. Thank you, Samu, sir. OK, yes. so can I expect the same strength uh, tomorrow, like this 15 numbers? I uh, still need anyone doubts? But tomorrow also we will uh, come in demo link only, or we will get any other links? No, that's why like, today I will discuss with uh, my management team. So I don't want to go with like demo link, because you know, it's four days. It's, it's a time killing process. So I'll be implementing to the management team. So you found all already paid. And again, so yeah, it's not like possible for everyone. If you are interested, if your skill is matching your, and again, my knowledge of sharing is matching to you guys, it's your decision. And again, you can take it out of your points. But if you go with like paid link, that's very good. Okay.
Okay. Thank you, everyone. So we'll meet tomorrow the same time. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Have a great day.